Polyurethane floors or PU floors is the subject of this video and uh, I want to talk about what I sometimes consider as the little brother of epoxy or the an alternative to epoxy floors and we get a lot of questions what are PU floors how do they differ I'm gonna talk about all this today and I'm gonna post some links at the end of the video where you can learn more about polyurethane floors and the differences between epoxies and polyurethanes Let's start by saying that polyurethanes can be both one component or two component. Um, and the reason is because you have one component polyurethanes that tend to react with moisture rather than me reacting with a hardener like you have in epoxies. So you can have both one component and two component polyurethanes. Let's talk about the, the, the types of PU floors because it's, it's, a, it's a broad range. We have clear coats. We've talked about clear coats, about how you can uh, apply a PU clear coat over epoxy to prevent from scratching. Another type of PU floor is varnishes for wooden floors. So people who use, um, who, who want to apply something on a wooden floor will use, a. it's very common to use a polyurethane varnish. Then you have a classic roller applied floor coating where it's quite difficult to tell the difference between a polyurethane and epoxy. And uh, trowel applied coatings that are a bit thicker in um, a bit thicker than roller applied coatings. And finally, you have cementitious based PU floors. Now, these tend to be applied at a bigger thickness, like up to one centimeter or even more. And we tend to put those in in other types of in in factories that are prone to heavy heat shocks or um, acids. So let me show you a few pictures. Here's an example of. Um, some guys applying a clear polyurethane coat. You cannot really see it in the picture, but they were applying a clear coat over epoxy. Now, if you're looking at this one, you're wondering, well, where's the polyurethane here? This is a, a quartz floor where we use a polyurethane resin to apply it. Because this is outdoors and we didn't want the resin to be damaged, we use a polyurethane resin. And it's kind of, it's like a, a quartz floor with a polyurethane binder. So this is actually a PU based floor, what you're looking at here. Here's an example of a freezing chamber. We use polyurethanes a lot in freezing chambers. I'm talking especially if the temperature goes under freezing, like, like minus 20 degrees, which is very common, minus 20 degrees Celsius. And the reason why we use polyurethanes in this temperature is because epoxies will crack. Epoxies cannot withstand such low temperature, but polyurethanes can. So that's one of the reasons why we use polyurethanes in in minus like in freezing temperatures. This is an example of a car park. We use a lot of polyurethanes in car parks, especially if it's a multi-story car park, because they also act as waterproofing layers between each each layer, each floor. But they're very commonly used in in car parks. This is an example of a dairy factory, and you're wondering, well, why? did we use this type of floor and the reason is in dairy especially the lactic acids the, the the acids that come from the milk tend to be tend to damage epoxies and uh, it's fairly well known that they tend to react they, 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 they don't corrode polyurethane as much so if you're gonna apply you need to apply a floor in a yogurt factory or cheese factory or milk factory it's better to use a polyurethane floor than an epoxy floor it's much better resistant to the lactic acids and I want to go now and talk about the main the main reason why we use PU floors and it's mainly because they are more elastic and flexible than epoxy and that gives you the possibility to do things with PU floors that you can't really do with epoxy and I'll give a few examples but before I give the examples please take a moment if you haven't and subscribe to this channel because it really helps me keep on bringing out videos and keep on helping you guys and bringing out articles the more people I have, the more YouTube shows my videos, and that helps me grow my channel. Now, elastic floors. Where would we need an elastic floor compared to a uh, like, uh, an elastic floor compared to a, maybe maybe a, a, a more durable floor? And one example is schools and sports facilities, especially if you have young kids playing. You do not want something as tough as epoxy. You want something softer, so that if the kids fall, they won't be injured. Same with sports for the obvious reasons. We've put polyurethane floors in yoga studios, in gymnasiums, in weight rooms. It's just more convenient than having something really tough like epoxy. Freezing chambers, the reason why we want elastic floors in there is, as we explained, when the temperature is really low, you get a the, the floor tends to expand and contract. So you want to make sure that 
at low temperatures, your floor can withstand those contractions, and that's why we use we we put PU floors in freezing chambers. Another important advantage of elastic floors is that because a floor is elastic, it tends to be less prone to scratching. It tends to absorb some of the, the wear. And that's one of the reasons why, as I mentioned before, we put, we have top coats, clear top, polyurethane top coats to prevent scratching. And that's also the reason why we tend to put them in places where you don't want, you have more pedestrian traffic and you have more furniture being dragged around. And that's why, as you see in this picture, we have used a polyurethane floor in a clinic. And this was a dental clinic. We use them in residential and commercial spaces where you don't want that much scratching to be visible. Where it's quite important that the, 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 the look is soft and warm. And finally, a reason why we use elastic floors is because sometimes the floor acts as a waterproofer. And here is what I'm talking about. And one of massive advantage of polyurethane floors is that you can apply them outdoors. I want to emphasize not all polyurethane floors can be applied outdoors, only the aliphatic polyurethanes. In fact, I'm going to post a video about epoxies and why we should not be applying epoxies outdoors. You can click on this video and learn more about uh, why we prefer polyurethanes and what can go wrong with epoxy. But the great thing with polyurethane outdoors is because it's flexible, it can allow crack bridging and it acts as a better waterproofer. When you have a floor outside, wherever you are based in the world, this floor will undergo major temperature changes from the winter to the summer. You may have really cold winters and really warm summers. So by having something flexible and elastic, this floor can just all year round can be resistant to water and can act as a waterproofer. And this is an example of a terrace that was leaking water underneath and by applying a polyurethane floor, an aliphatic polyurethane floor, we were able to waterproof it and there were no more complaints from the people downstairs. I do want to emphasize that polyurethane floors sound great but they are tougher to apply. One of their big sort of disadvantages is that they are much more sensitive to moisture and here's an example of happened to one of my projects where some water dripped on the surface and it just caused this little ugly looking bump. If this was an epoxy floor, you'd probably just have a little discoloration, but it, because it's a polyurethane, it just looks really ugly. You get these really weird reactions when polyurethane reacts to moisture. And it, this is both a problem if your floor is moist, but also if you are applying the floor on a, on a day with high humidity. So it's very, very sensitive. When you apply polyurethanes, you want to be in a dry environment. Polyurethanes can be faster curing. So we've had polyurethanes that cure within 10, 15 minutes. Very, very tricky. And my last point is about cementitious PUs. And those are even trickier to apply. They are very expensive too. So those require even anchoring. It's, it's far harder to apply. And as a general comment is, I do not recommend PU floors for amateurs and DIYers. I would recommend, I would tell people to start with epoxy and only professional teams should handle polyurethanes. Uh, someone who's a bit more experienced, I do not recommend that you try polyurethanes if you're not experienced. Anyway, there's more you can learn about epoxies and polyurethanes and I'm going to post a video, I'm going to post an article below so you can learn more about the differences. There's lots of differences. Thank you very much for watching. Um, you want to also check out our online course where you're going to learn lots of new stuff about, we also talk about polyurethanes, but we talk about epoxy and resin floors in general and how to apply them and how to do surface prep and priming and the entire procedure. So you definitely want to check out our online course that's been newly relaunched in 2021. Here is a uh, picture of our online course. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out these other videos. Much appreciated. Have a great day.